हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ अमित कुमार माने फाउंडर ग्लोबल फार्मा एकेडमी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फार्माको विजिलेंस एंड क्लिनिकल डेटा मैनेजमेंट सो दीज आर द इंटरनल पार्ट ऑफ द क्लिनिकल डेटा ऑपरेशंस सो बेसिकली देयर आर फोर फेजेस इन द क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स फेज 0 फेज 1 फेज 2 एंड फेज 3 फेज 0 इज अबाउट द प्री क्लिनिकल इट कंडक्टेड ऑन द एनिमल्स ओके फेज 1 2 3 एंड अपडेट द लास्ट फेज इज फेज 4 दैट इज कॉल्ड द पोस्ट मार्केटिंग सर्विलेंस मींस इफ एनी ड्रग व्हिच हैड like uh, any adverse event happening after marketing of that medicines then it is recalled and the un- investigational going on the, on that particular drug and that is the part of the pharmacovigilance so uh, it is important part of the clinical trial operation that is the pharmacovigilance now we'll move to the clinical data management it is also internal part of the clinical trial clinical research operations but here the all the data collected from the clinical trials is validated managed okay and they check the regulatory guidelines and accordingly they have to submit this information to the further department which is sas department so we'll move one by one uh, various information related to the pharmacovigilance and clinical data management hopefully this video will definitely help all of you to build your career in both of you both of this domain but, but which is the best domain you will come across at till the end of this video so let's get started first of all what is pharmacovigilance pharmacovigilance is a science and activities related to the detection assessment prevention and understanding of adverse drug event next about the clinical data management clinical data management is all about the collecting the information managing the information and validate the uh, clinical trial information according to the latest regulatory compliances pharmacovigilance uh, the designation is uh, drug safety associate drug safety officer drug safety trainee okay uh, pharmacovigilance officer these are the basically the uh, designations and about the data management the designations are clinical data manage clinical uh, data management trainee clinical data coordinator clinical data operator okay according to the different different con- companies the uh, designation should be varies but after getting uh, good experience you will get a lot of promotions and other uh, different uh, designations will also you will get okay so now we will talk about the role responsibilities so first role and responsibility is to record or analyze all the adverse event the role of the pharmacovigilance is to record analyze all the adverse event happening and the company actually told to that particular person then you have to connect with the uh, healthcare professionals or the patient who report that particular event and also you have to update about the various scientific information related to the literature review related to the safety information then the role of clinical data management is all about crf design case report form design discrepancy management sas reconciliation and coding okay now we'll talk about what are the skills required for both of these domain pharmacovigilance knowledge of uh, pharmacology basically anatomy physiology health science and even like all uh, mechanism action of the drugs related to the pharmacology various terminologies and of course narrative writing medra coding this information and about technical skill ms office is sufficient okay ms world excel powerpoint about the data management you need to know about the clinical trials various phases drug discovery and development and clinical data management phases like a phase uh, phase 1 2 3 they these are the three phases okay in uh, clinical data management uh, startup conduct and close up you should know about these also now uh, even a technical uh, that is ms world office powerpoint is uh, sufficient in clinical data management also now we'll move to the uh, like which companies hire for these domains okay so pharmacovigilance hired by uh, healthcare it companies like tcs essential cognizant or even in the cro's contract research organizations like fidelity like uh, varaxel like iqvi like covens okay like slapco fortria okay and same companies in the data management also and even some manufacturing companies like cipla glenmark can also hire so data management and pharmacovigilance like employment uh, area is same almost everywhere the both can hire and uh, how about the switching like uh, if you join to the pharmacovigilance you can switch to the data management even after the data management you can switch to the pv as well experience might be counted most of the time it will be counted okay now we'll move to the fresher salary fresher salary is all about 2.5 to 3.6 lpa per annum it is a fresher salary okay for pv and data management 2.5 to 3.8 
lakhs per annum now we'll move to the interview questions so uh, basically pharmacovigilance has interview question like what is difference between adverse drug reaction adverse drug event then what is narrative writing what is medra coding what is the what are the regulatory uh, like uh, agencies are there okay and even various terminology like susar like psur okay uh, uh, then icsr okay they need to know this even uh, pharmacovigilance program of india pvpi they need to know and even more information on a particular drugs okay mechanism of action behind it and the safety information about it and about the data management various clinical trials drug development phases clinical data management phases you need to know uh, and even that re sas reconciliation and discrepancy management they every student should have this knowledge also for getting inform for getting hired in the data management companies so uh, how to apply as a fresher so uh, you have to apply through uh, various job providing sites like nokri indeed okay even linkedin is very best option for all of these domains connect with the various companies okay over linkedin connect with their career portals and then you can uh, apply through career portal or through even uh, linkedin or even job providing websites even there is the internship is also there in the data management and pharmacovigilance also there are less opportunity but if you got you can join okay and uh, if you want to learn uh, more about pharmacovigilance or data management you can also do a certification course in both of domain we from global pharma academy have two different courses pharmacovigilance is different course data management is different course so three month online certification course in pharmacovigilance three month online certification course in the clinical data management so both these courses will definitely help you to bring a good career in these domains we don't only provide domain knowledge we provide the skill development like soft skill development and also placement assistance to each and every student so if for more information about our certification courses call to this number for getting more information about our next live batches now uh, we'll move to the like which is the best if you are from the pharma uh, graduate or even life science medical science uh, both domains are equally important but in pharmaco uh, uh, vigilance is more uh, has more opportunities than the clinical data management so i suggest that to join pharmaco vigilance do that uh, like uh, grab that opportunity okay work over there if you want to switch you can switch to the data management like uh, even like but pharmaco vigilance is good career opportunity even the future is also good there are a lot of internal department like aggregate reporting signal detection risk management plan pharma business quality assurance is also there in case of the data management data management student uh, that you can directly apply to this domain but this is one of the highest paid domain okay like even after after the uh, entry level you will get a high package also in the data management rather than pharma business so in case of the high like scope and future and high package data management is always good uh, career opportunity to all of the student okay so i hope this information will definitely help you to bring a good career opportunity that best choice for you which is the best like pharmacovigilance or data management for getting more information kindly connect with our channel don't forget to share this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you like the content don't forget to like this video as well which motivate us to do more informative videos like this in future